Today's episode is brought to you by Marvel's Midnight Suns. Let's deep dive into the Ghost Rider. Now, while Johnny Blaze is probably the most well-known Ghost Rider, other characters have been imbued with the spirit of vengeance, taking up roles in the Marvel Universe, the most recent of which is Robbie Reyes. Shown to be a hardworking and intelligent man, Robbie has no interest in becoming a superhero, mainly wanting to only take care of his brother. He defers from the past Ghost Riders that he didn't sell his soul for any purpose. Robbie Reyes was introduced as the Ghost Rider in Marvel's all-new, all-different phase, when the editors decided that they needed a new and younger Ghost Rider. Robbie was first introduced in all-new Ghost Rider number 1 in 2014. Created by Philippe Smith and Trad Moore, Robbie was designed to be visually different from Ghost Riders of the past. Robbie drove around in his muscle car. He also didn't have the traditional Ghost Rider skull, with a flaming head being designed to look like a classic muscle car. While Robbie has the most standard Ghost Rider powers, he is also linked to his muscle car in a way that previous Ghost Riders weren't with their motorcycles. He was able to actually merge with the car and can teleport to wherever it is. He can also use his muscle car to open up portals of Hellfire, which allows him to teleport himself and others anywhere he wants. While Robbie originally didn't have a penance stare, possibly the Ghost Rider's strongest ability, he eventually became powerful enough to use this power. For a Ghost Rider, Robbie has surprisingly little history with the magical side of the Marvel Universe, so let's dive into his origins and take it from there. Robbie Reyes was a smart kid, with a passion and talent for working on cars. While attending high school, he worked as a mechanic at an auto body shop. He takes care of his younger brother Gabe, who is a paraplegic person. The pair live in Hill Rock Heights in eastern LA, so they have to deal with gang violence and dirty cops on a daily basis. To earn extra money, Robbie begins to take part in street races. One night, he borrows a car from the shop and takes part in a race. But during that race, he is chased down and killed by the members of the gang. They try to burn Robbie's body and the car, but Robbie is at that moment possessed by a vengeful spirit. This transforms him into the new Ghost Rider. As the Ghost Rider, Robbie then chases down and kills some of the gang members. He wakes up the next morning thinking that everything was just a bad dream, and he's later confronted by two more gang members at the shop. But he transforms into the Ghost Rider once more, defeating them and driving them off. After becoming Robbie once again, he speaks with the vengeful spirit who names itself as Eli. Eli promises that he will give Robbie the power to make those who attacked him pay. Robbie hesitates briefly, but accepts the offer. As the Ghost Rider, the pair hunt down the gang members and discover that they were working for Mr. Hyde, who had hidden some of his pills inside of the car that Robbie had, well, borrowed. Ghost Rider defeats them, but refuses to kill. With the task done, Robbie decides against becoming a regular superhero, instead using his abilities to win street races and make some extra cash. But the new Ghost Rider gets the attention of Johnny Blaze, who comes to Los Angeles to ensure that a new spirit of vengeance hasn't been unleashed onto the world. He confronts Robbie just as Eli takes full control of his body, using the Ghost Rider to hunt down and kill a member of the Russian mob. Johnny learns that Eli isn't a spirit of vengeance, but the spirit of a serial killer who was killed in 1999. Johnny defeats Eli with the penance stare and returns control of the Ghost Rider to Robbie but Robbie would then fully bond with Eli, forcing the spirit to promise that they would only take the lives of those with evil souls. Robbie would then continue to act as the Ghost Rider for some time before he joins a group of Marvel heroes that must fight against the Dark Celestials as they invade the Earth. He's then offered a spot on the roster of the new Avengers, joining them in Avengers Mountain, which is inside of the corpse of a dead Celestial. Though he has most of the same abilities as the previous Ghost Riders, Robbie didn't have the penance stare since he's technically not a spirit of vengeance. It was during a fight with Starbrand that Robbie discovered that he does in fact have this amazing ability when he accidentally used it to kill the Starbrand. Robbie would then also journey into hell where he's challenged to a race by the new king of hell, Johnny Blaze. He went on his own adventure during all of this. Johnny planned on defeating Robbie and taking his power for his own. But Robbie was aided by his teammates in the Avengers and the past spirits of vengeance, and he defeated Johnny, claiming the throne of hell for himself, though he would give it up immediately and allow Johnny to take it back once again. Afterwards, Robbie would gain more control over his powers, becoming more secure in his place in the Avengers. And there you have it. As a newer character, Robbie doesn't have a long history in the Marvel Universe, but he has proven himself to be a capable hero on the Avengers. How powerful will he be in Marvel's Midnight Suns? Will he be able to stop the forces of evil? You'll have to play to find out. 
and check back as we look at more of the playable characters in Marvel's Midnight Suns. Thank you guys for joining us today, and don't forget, this episode is brought to you by Marvel's Midnight Suns. And on that note, I'm Benny, and I'll see you next time.